The sad truth about current testing methods used to confirm the existence of electrosensitivity in individuals. Currently, whenever a news story, especially in the print media, reports of or quotes a person who says that they're electrosensitive means that they physically have a reaction to Wi-Fi, cell phones, home cordless phones, or cell towers, studies are mentioned that allegedly disprove the existence of this condition. In virtually all these studies, which are in conducted in controlled conditions, subjects are asked to report verbally or by some other method when the microwave signal is on and when it is off. This methodology is, in two words, deeply flawed for the following reason. Electrosensitive reactions are in most cases identical to allergic reactions in terms of how they present. Once exposed to the allergen, in this case electromagnetic fields, the reaction usually lasts from a few hours to many hours. So this would be like exposing someone who has a peanut allergy to peanuts, then removing the peanuts and then adding them back several times and expecting the subject to correctly report when the peanuts are present and when they're not. Like a peanut allergy, the reaction does not stop when the aggravator, in this case EMF, electromagnetic fields is removed. A more logical testing methodology would be to use biologically based testing methods. These include measuring heart rate variability and brainwave activity. A perfect example of this is the test that was conducted for the nationally televised 16 by 9 investigative report on Wi-Fi in schools aired in October 2010. A two-minute video of the actual test can be found at tinyurl.com forward slash Wi-Fi dash health. This test measured the subject's heart variability or heart rate when exposed to a Wi-Fi signal. Despite the alarming fact that the subject's heart is wildly speeding up and then slowing down several times in response to the addition and removal of the Wi-Fi signal, this test has never been replicated. It's high time that our national and provincial health authorities step up to the plate and replicate this test using identical methods. Here are some recent updates on Wi-Fi in cell phones in schools from around the world. You may want to stop the video now to look at these links. For more information, please visit citizensforsafetechnology.org and kawarthasafetechnology.org.